This is the terrifying moment caught on camera. The snow rushing down the slopes past skiers, creating an avalanche. No, 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 no. In Andermatt, Switzerland, the emergency call came just before 11 this morning. Andrew Shevchenko was skiing with his family nearby. We were watching from uh, from the bottom how the helicopters arrived. There are dogs and a lot of people with poles searching for people under the snow. Tonight, the frantic search has ended. Everyone survived, six people rescued, two flown to the hospital with minor injuries. Also in the Alps yesterday, a dramatic rescue in Austria. A skier buried for five hours. He survived in an air pocket, finally found thanks to his avalanche beacon pinpointing his location. It's avalanche season December to April, and these types of dangers not surprising. In Utah yesterday, a close call near Park City. Heads up! It's the same area where another man died in an avalanche earlier this month, but watch as the snowboarder keeps going, later telling the man filming he didn't have any avalanche survival gear. It's something Andrew says he might consider. Do you ski with a beacon or any kind of avalanche equipment? We were thinking how, how are the people uh, searching for the people under the stone, and I think it uh, makes sense to have something like that. Andrew and his family now debating whether it's safe to go out again tomorrow. Molly Hunter, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.